50, 60 years after the highway construction uh, system, uh, highway, uh, in, uh, highway system has been built. Um, we, are now, we now have a president and a secretary who have the courage to say, we need legislation to start correcting this. Communities and roads have divided this nation racially. And now you're chairing the Transportation Equity Commission. Talk to me about all of this in this moment and why. Well, we have, for the last 50 or 60 years, uh, and really before that time, um, our transportation system has been uh, an enormous economic success. But in the course of the economic success, we have ignored in many cases, and in some cases completely um, uh, just, you know, raised communities that uh, have been impacted by the construction of the, of the, of the system. And um, really, people didn't realize, you know, at the same time, President Eisenhower was sending federal troops into the school in Little Rock, Arkansas, we were also deploying massive amounts of money to states to build the highway system, which they were then using as a bit of a mallet against many communities that were uh, poor, many uh, of color, uh, and in, in some cases, even rural communities. So um, the history of the use of transportation is somewhat of a, uh, a socioeconomic mallet uh, has been long, long in the making. 50, 60 years after the highway construction uh, system, uh, highway, uh, in, uh, highway system has been built. Um, we, are now, we now have a president and a secretary who have the courage to say, we need legislation to start correcting this. Um, when I was talking about it a few years ago, I had the power of the phone and the pen. I could use administrative authority. But this administration has taken it many steps further. They have mm -hmm. now uh, policies and practice and funding to try to correct this. Now, uh, the problem is, is you know, after what, what has been estimated on, on an inflation adjusted basis, half a trillion dollars that has been spent by the federal government to build the highway system, we now have a few billion mm -hmm. <laughs> to try to correct it. So it's not gonna happen overnight, mm -hmm. but I think the, the most important thing is this administration is paying attention to it, uh, they're sensitive to it, and they're trying to find corrective measures. This commission, this committee, is really formed to try to provide a, a bit of a third party view on both the administration's activities. So we're, they're, they're ask, actually asking us to take a look at what they're doing and critique it, uh, which I think is very healthy. It's very smart, uh, maybe there are some ideas this committee will come up with that aren't being actualized today. Uh, maybe there are things that the administration needs to think about doing a bit differently. Maybe there are things that even need to be celebrated and, and really raised and highlighted a little more. Um, but also I hope the committee is able to, uh, to also uh, provide some context for this because I hear a lot of noise mm -hmm. about wokeism and you know whatever. Yeah. Um, but there's historical context here that is readily available. So I hope we're able to set the context. Yeah. I hope we're able to critique the administration. And I also hope we're able to share with Congress and with states which have enormous power still uh, in the construction of the highway system and other forms of transportation. Uh, I hope we're able to provide guidance to those bodies as well as to what they can do to correct this.